Hello everyone, welcome back again. Manchester United are interested in making Crystal Palace winger Michael O'Lees one of the first signings of the Sir Jim Ratcliffe era, according to the Evening Standard. The newspaper reports a January move has been ruled out, but the 22-year-old has been identified as a target for a summer squad overhaul. O'Lees signed a four-year contract at Crystal Palace in August, including a release clause that comes into effect in the summer. He has scored five goals in seven Premier League starts since returning from a hamstring injury in November, including a double against Brentford on Saturday. Meanwhile, Man United icon Dimitar Berbatov claims Jadon Sancho's experience at Old Trafford will leave him hurt. He told Betfair, Jadon Sancho's time at Man United has been a major disappointment. It didn't work out at all. There were high expectations for him to perform, and everything was there for it to work out, but it didn't. If it comes to an end, it's a good thing for him to go to Dortmund, because when a player is in a situation like this, he's looking for something familiar to go back to, so he can regroup and get his confidence back. The Dortmund move has probably been in the works for a long time, because he's obviously not going to play for United again under Ten Hag. The experience at Manchester United will leave him hurt, disappointed and angry. It depends how you see life and how you understand life. Can you use this experience as a motivating factor so that one day you come back and prove everybody wrong? Or you say, thank you very much, I was not appreciated enough, I will go to Germany and perform there. So, there are two ways for Sancho to go, and we'll see which one he's going to choose. Elsewhere, Luke Littler, the 16-year-old who reached the final of the PDC World Darts Championship, picked Victor Osimhen as the one player he would sign for Manchester United. Littler, who lost to Luke Humphreys in Wednesday's final, is a United fan. The teenager appeared on Sky Sports News on Thursday and was asked which player he would sign. No idea, came Littler's initial reply before he added, I'd probably get Osimhen from Napoli, one of the big ones. On the other side, according to German media outlet Bild, a deal for Jadon Sancho to return to Borussia Dortmund on loan from Manchester United has been agreed. The winger is set to sign with the German club for the remainder of the season tomorrow, after the two clubs negotiated a loan fee. For weeks, a January exit has appeared inevitable for the ex-England winger, who has not played for the Red Devils ever since he was axed from the squad to face Arsenal at the start of September, again and again. Manchester United centre-back Lisandro Martinez returned to training at Carrington this week with his dad in attendance. Martinez suffered a year to forget with injuries in 2023 after two long stints on the sidelines. In mid-April, the United defender picked up his first serious injury and was carried off the pitch by two of his international teammates who were playing for Sevilla. That ruled him out for the remainder of the 2022-23 campaign as he underwent surgery to fix the problem. But his return to competitive action this term was ended abruptly in September by a recurrence of the issue. The Argentinian once again went under the knife and has been recuperating since. His absence in the back line has led to several different centre-back partnerships, as Eric Ten Hag tries to find a winning formula. United received some good news this week when Martinez and Casemiro returned to training at Carrington. Both took part in a team session for the first time since their injuries ahead of a potential full return before the end of the month. And the return for Martinez was capped by his dad, Raul Martinez, being in attendance at Carrington. The 25-year-old shared the news on his Instagram story with the caption, What a joy to share this with you old man. Martinez Sr., who also had a picture with Casemiro, shared his own post from the day. He wrote, Here enjoying these two, a pride for me. On the other side, while a deal for Timo Werner appears to be up in the air, X-Man United star Dimitar Berbatov still predicts his old club will invest in a new striker either in January or in the summer. United have struggled for goals this season, despite splashing out on Rasmus Hoylund in the summer, and Berbatov feels bolstering their attacking line should be a priority for Eric Ten Hag. He said, United will buy a striker, but who will that be? I don't know, Berbatov told Betfair. It's always good to have competition for places, it's healthy. On the other hand, it can be unhealthy if you don't play the right players, because it can cause problems within the dressing room. You need to be careful which striker you approach. You want a good squad, a squad where everyone supports each other, even if you don't play. 
United will go for a striker to shake things up a bit to tell the other players like Rashford, Hojlund and Garnacho to keep pushing forward otherwise other players will be waiting to take their place. Again and again. Manchester United looks set to land a striker this month with Bayern Munich forward, Eric Maxim Chupo Moting, reportedly agreeing a move to Old Trafford. According to Build, the Red Devils are targeting the former Stoke and PSG forward, and is suggested that he is happy to move back to the Premier League A feature falling down the pecking order following the arrival of Harry Kane. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag has spoken out on a potential Manchester United U-turn with the Red Devils in talks with Rafael Varane. Speaking in a press conference, he said, We are talking with Rafa Varane, with Anthony Martial, and we triggered the options on Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Victor Lindelof, and Hannibal. When Ten Hag was pressed for further comment on Varane and Martial, the United boss added, I think that is an internal discussion between the club and the player. Previous reports have claimed that the Red Devils will not activate an option to extend either of the pair's deals by a further year. Elsewhere, Manchester United are interested in signing Girona left-back Miguel Gutierrez, according to The Sun. Gutierrez, 22, is part of Girona's unlikely La Liga title charge this season. The Spanish minnows are second in the table, level on points with leaders Real Madrid. Gutierrez is a former Madrid star, having come through the club's academy and won the Champions League there in 2022. He's done well since joining Girona in August 2022. Interestingly, the City Football Group, the holding company that owns Manchester City and derives its name from the English champions, own a 47% stake in Girona. They are the Spanish club's biggest shareholders. Furthermore, Girona's chairman is Pere Guardiola, the brother of City boss Pep. It's unclear exactly how involved City would be in Gutierrez's potential move to Old Trafford. On the other side, Manchester United target Joao Palhinha has reportedly agreed personal terms with Bayern Munich. The Fulham midfielder had been linked with a move to Old Trafford with Eric Ten Hag, looking for reinforcements across the pitch. But those hopes have taken a blow after Sky in Germany, reported that there is a verbal agreement between Bayern Munich and Palhinha, and the 28-year-old is keen on the move. Although it's not all over yet, as Fulham are said to be holding firm on their 60 Mimaler price tag that they set in the summer. The Bavarians are said to want to secure Palhinha for less than that, but Fulham won't budge as things stand. Again and again. Villarreal have reignited their interest in Manchester United winger Facundo Palistri, and the Spaniards hope they can get the Uruguay International on a permanent deal this month. Palistri, 22, has never come close to a regular run for the Red Devils since arriving from his home country for around 9 million in 2020. And he has failed to make an impact at Old Trafford this season, despite seeing the likes of Anthony and Marcus Rashford struggle in his position. Palistri last started for United in September and has since slipped further down the pecking order. Alejandro Garnacho has emerged impressively this season, while fellow wideman Ahmad Diallo was preferred off the bench in last week's loss at Nottingham Forest.